okay so this is just a, a a bit of just like an update video just to you know fill you in on the shit that happened yesterday with the queen died yesterday which i mean i don't want to sound insensitive or anything and i know that there's a lot of people like a lot of people uh, that were really really upset that the queen died and I, I mean it's always sad when someone dies so it's always there's always like a reason to feel empathetic about that so the queen died which didn't really impact me a lot but i was sad for everyone else that was feeling sad that, well how could you not be but then something else happened so me honeys and the boys were just like sat around having a lovely relaxing evening we were, we were watching maths uk we're just there just relaxing thinking life is great the queen died which sad but life is great you know what i mean so anyway i get a call on my phone from a number that i don't recognize and i never answer calls on my phone from numbers that i don't recognize i barely even answer my, my phone if it's a number that i do know but so anyway it rang ignored it it rang again ignored it again and then they left a voicemail so i listened to the voicemail and the voicemail was from the emergency vets and, and this is like just so out of the blue it's like the vets like why like why would the vets be calling us honey said we've not seen dude all day we've not seen dude like obviously the sphinx cats they're in in the house all the time apart from that one time salem decided to make a bid for freedom so it was like what and it took me a minute because i was thinking why why are the vets calling like this is bizarre and it was like the emergency vets so then anton or oh, honey's as you know him anton why am i calling him anton all of a sudden honey's phoned them back and had them on speakerphone and the vet said we have dude here um he was he'd been hit by a car uh, and I'm really sorry to tell you that he's passed away. Uh, and when I tell you that that was unexpected, like that's probably an understatement because we were literally like just chilling. Like I'd let dude out in the morning as usual as I saw him trot off. And then usually like during the day because I was working from home, usually like he'll pop up at the back door i'll let him in he'll have some food and then he goes back out again because he loves being outside he was a real out outdoors cat um but and so that throughout that the day yesterday i kept looking up to see if i could see his little face looking in but i couldn't anyway then honey's got home usually dude will come and greet honey's because dude dude and honey's right they had such a beautiful bond I, like i've never seen a cat and human relationship like dude and honeys it was kind of more similar to like a dog and owner you know like dogs have their favorite owner that they're loyal to it, and it was like that kind of and i know that there's probably loads of people out there that have that same relationship with a cat but like dude would follow him about everywhere dude wouldn't sit with anyone but honeys in the evening you know dude would be hanging out with honeys he, he just adored honeys and honeys adored him back so anyway honeys took the phone call and honeys is just like so emotional um because you know we, we didn't even know he was missing like you know when salem went missing like or if you've ever had like a pet go missing you do naturally run through all the possibilities all the worst case scenarios and even though it's it's still upsetting like you have that time to almost like not digest it but because it's a thought in your mind it's not really like a huge shock well it probably is a huge shock and like i don't want to undermine you know anyone else's experience but because like literally i hadn't seen him all day but he loves being outdoors that that's no surprise he does go out for a long time he stays out all night sometimes so it wasn't even like we, we thought he was missing or we thought there was anything strange or we hadn't thought oh wow dude's not been back like we just hadn't even thought of any of those things so yeah i so i mean there's not much more to the story really other than dude very very sadly he's not with us anymore
and it didn't really hit me like I think until this morning because Honey's was so emotional last night and the boys were so emotional and then I was like just being trying to be post positive and supportive for them but then like mine and dude's like morning routine was that I would wake up actually I put a video up um you probably have seen it at this point but I obviously filmed that video like last weekend and I showed like how every morning when I wake up dude would hear me get up he's he had a little bell on his collar and I'd hear his little bell ringing and he'd come and greet me and scratch up the bed and then I'd go to the toilet he'd wait for me at the top of the stairs and then we would all walk down together and that was like the morning routine so this morning when I woke up and there was no no tinkling of the bell and no dude you know that that it hit me then really because that was like my main relationship with dude was the morning routine but I don't know whether it was like the person who actually hit him with the car or if it was just someone who happened to come across him like I don't really know all of the facts yet but it does make me feel happy to know that somebody did the right thing and they brought him to the vets and that he was treated with kindness and dignity and you know that that really does make me feel happy and it like it restores your faith in humanity when people do do the right thing it's nice to know that he wasn't suffering I believe that he was uh, deceased when he got to the vets so they couldn't do anything and um I think it was quite an instant thing so I I I don't think that he suffered. Um, um, last night the boys were like a bit angry towards like whoever like hit dude, but I said to the boys that you know that person is most likely feeling horrendous right now. I bet they're feeling so guilty and so sad, and you know it was just probably an unavoidable accident. Um, we are taught on a, when you do your uh, driving test like or driving lessons we like you're taught that if an animal like runs out in front of your car to you're taught to like not swerve to avoid the animal because then you could create an even bigger accident or you know it could happen to anyone any of us who are driving no matter how focused on the road you might be if an animal just like runs out of nowhere in front of your car it's it could be unavoidable so like for me I really hope that that person is not beating themselves up about it because like I would hate for them to be because it could happen to any one of us so I said this to the boys and I said look don't don't be angry at that person have empathy for that person because I'm sure it was an accident and I, I'm almost certain that they are going to be feeling like really sad about that today so yeah I just wanted to let you know because um you you know so that you know and I just you know I wanted to tell you because I know I talk about my cats a lot and um everyone's familiar with dude and he was such a lovely cat and even though I didn't have a, a closer bond to him as honey did he was an, an amazing cat and I just hope he knows how much he was loved and and I hope he knows how much we are going to miss him and the girls the Sphinx cats are going to miss sniffing his butt because they love sniffing his butt and they're going to miss that but yeah it's re really sad it's really really sad but anyway guys I'm going to wrap this video up here and I am going to I'm going to end with some of my favourite video kind of clips Ooh, uh, with dude but, uh, and I know like a lot of people probably don't care they don't want to see this but uh, the reason why I think it's so important to take lots of videos and photos is so that we do have memories to hold on to Um, yeah I'm just going to show some lovely videos of dude now and and um, and I will say farewell to dude farewell dude I wish you all the happiness on your next journey because
dude was an adventurer. He loved adventuring. Like he, he, he was a, a true outdoor cat. And I really hope that he is now on the adventure of his life. I really do. Okay, I'm going to go anyway, guys. But thank you so much for watching. And I know everyone's going to leave, like, really kind messages down below. So I just want to say in advance, like, thank you so much. And, yeah, and I will see you in the next video. Okay. Makes sense. I mean, I suppose I would probably be chilling out in the bath too. Oh yes, he's just living his best life. Okay, dude. Nice. Loving it. What's happening, dude? Hello. Are you happy there? Well, hello there. Are you okay, matey? You look very comfy there. Look at this distinguished gentleman. Look at the way he is sitting. Yes, very distinguished. Mm hmm I see, I see. And he's one will do it except he's a bit too big for the house. You like him there? I know, but look. Yeah, you can still do it now. He's so cute. Look at that face. And once again we have dude in his natural habitat.